of online shopping. Now, before we get any further into my office makeover, I just want to let y'all know that today I've partnered with Built, the app to help upgrade my space. If you aren't aware of what Built is, Built is a app that makes things such as assembling, installing, and setting up furniture and just home improvements so much easier with their simple 3D interactive guides. Now, if you're like me and you just can't do the simple photo pictures like you're typically given in instruction manuals when it comes to building furniture, Built is definitely for you. Now, Built allowed me to do everything that I did in this video at my own pace. I could start and stop my own convenience there's also things like voiceovers within built system that allows you to verbally hear instructions that goes along with each of the steps place the seat cushions but thankfully built has a bunch of features a bunch of these features and then some that allow the building process to be so much easier congratulations this concludes the assembly procedure. So if you're interested in getting built and trying it yourself or sharing it with a potentially new homeowner or a new tenant that you may know, make sure you use the link down below in my description to download it and check it out yourself. Thank you so much, Bill, for sponsoring this part of the video. Let's go ahead and get into the office makeover. <laughs> Last spotted, the desk was facing this way, but I turned it this way so I can look outside. Do we like it? Do we care? Clap if you care. Moving on then. So today we're gonna do a little bit of online shopping. I don't wanna hold you here too long because watching somebody else shop is not always fun. So today we're going to continue my online shopping journey with the first stop being Ikea. Now Ikea, Ikea, Ikea has been my bestie since day one. You can see from my <laughs> recent search i've been i've been i've been looking i've been searching okay as you saw i created a floor plan um not too long ago about a week or so ago with things that i want in the outer part of the room and i just want to show you this little best uh, ikea furniture piece right first of all it's a storage combination with doors it has wood and white on it look how cute this is like do you see the little wood effects and just i feel like it adds so much warmth to a space because all the furniture in this office is white I think I also want a bookshelf and I don't know why I'm trying to look up bookshelves at Ikea. They literally own it. They invented the concept of a bookshelf. My first option right here is this Calac. Everybody and their mother has this bookshelf. I think I'm just going to go with the basics and what I know and that's going to be this Calyx shelf. It can go up against that wall but then again do I really want a bookshelf up against that wall to close out that area? So another thing from Ikea that I was looking at aside from bookshelves and storage and everything like that it's just some armchairs right because I just want some extra seating in here even though it's not like mandatory I think it would be fun this chair is kind of nice this oh this little light green is so cute I doubt that the wood on the little entertainment center is gonna match it perfectly but this is really cute because everything is so white in this office I think some color would be really beneficial I like minimal chairs I do not want a recliner how old am I 60 look at this chair Oh my god, this is so cute. I kind of like the high back because it's gonna be up against over there. So now I'm about to look for a little bench that's gonna go like over here just to fill up the space a little bit. There needs to be something there. I kind of like this little storage bench right here, but it doesn't look new enough for me. And then the other colorway doesn't really match, so I'm probably not gonna get that one. It's also cute, but it gives me bathroom. Maybe we can get something like this that people can sit on. I'm saying people, baby. It's, I'm gonna put a cushion on top of it and then never look at it again. So why am I thinking this hard? Lord knows, I do not know. I don't know y'all, I'm kind of leaning towards this one. I'm not gonna sit up here and act like I didn't go shopping on Amazon because I'm a psycho, but I do have some stuff in my cart that I wanna show y'all that I got. So there's this little smart lamp that works with Alexa, kind of like mood lighting. So I want some mood lighting here to lighten up the space, right? Then I also have this Amazon Basics three tier metal rolling cart because baby, I want a snack cart. So I'm determined to have one and fit one in here. And then I also was gonna get a new printer. It's a Canon printer because I wanna learn how to do mixed media and also my printer is ugly, old, and it hates my MacBook. Since the order's placed, we don't have to be there till tomorrow, but because of that, I'm just gonna go ahead and start shopping for some decor. We have everything we need for building, but now it's really time to live this space up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head on. Let's go start shopping, y'all. Let's go. I'm tired of waiting. Let's go. I have pants on, I swear. Let's go, y'all. I'm about to go into Pop Shop for the first time because I hear such good things about it. And I'm just very excited to see what they have to offer. I hear it's like a bougie five below. Hello, and if there's any time for me to save money, I'm gonna do it. So let's go ahead, head into Pop Shop and see what we can find. <sighs> She's 
she's officially lost it, Your Honor. We did some shopping at Pop Shop, so now I'm here back at the house to show you everything we got. Now, collectively, all the things I've got was around $150, $160, give or take. And when I tell you, I got enough stuff to decorate the entire office and the bathroom that connects to it. I hope you believe me, because it's true. First thing I got from Pop Shop was this cute little picture frame this photo frame was three dollars going along with the picture theme i also picked up these two really cute canvas wooden themed photos these were four dollars each so eight dollars total and they just have like these little blue waves on them um like it's like beachy themed but if it's not like shells around you probably wouldn't be able to think it was beachy themed but that's just my two cents i picked up this throw pillow for twelve dollars twelve dollars never heard of this in my life before pop shop I adore you. You will always be famous. I picked up this black little speckled decorated vase. It's for plants, but I thought this would just be really cute to put like on a bookshelf or on the desk, potentially just anywhere in the room after we put the furniture in there. So I picked this up just to add a little bit more darker neutral tones in there because I have a lot of light colors and pastels and stuff like that. Then we have a few colorful um, little decor pieces. I got these cute little geometric decor pieces right here. This looks more teal on camera, but in person it's like a dark powder blue then there's just this cute little sage green thing it's kind of like those little geometric shape decor things this was three bucks and then this was eight dollars did i say the price of that vase the black vase was five bucks by the way i should tell you that then i picked up this cute little sage green bird just because i think sage green in offices make it just feel so like calm and relaxing considering it's gonna be nothing but chaos all the time in that office because i just work 24 7 i need some peace this was also three dollars maybe i'm just so used to buying expensive furniture cheap furniture is more surprising to me next thing i got was this cute little mini pot with this little face on it so cute this was only five bucks i thought this would bring out the more gray neutral tones that i have planned for the office i wasn't even really looking for towels when i went to pop shops the first time but the fact that i saw a six piece bath set for ten dollars absolutely surprised me now these towels nine times out of ten won't be used by like showering simply decor towels which is why i was okay with buying these but if you kind of like scratch washcloths like I do go to pop show because how much were they buying at two dollars like two things per two dollars per washcloth right at most places it's like five six dollars depending on it but I in this family we love a scratchy washcloth and a scratchy towel so if you're interested in that um that's my favorite kind but these are just for simply decor there's six pieces for ten dollars usually towels are like 20 bucks per towel nowadays in this economy I can't make this up we have a little bit more decor stuff I saw this cute little pink elephant I don't know this just gives me grown office vibes there's no tag on it but i'm gonna assume this was between five and eight dollars it kind of has like a little pink speckled design on it we have two fake plants stone vase with i don't know what type of fake plants in here but it looks very green and vibrant aka how i like it and then we have this pink potted one with just some fake aloe vera in it i think it's super cute gives me like summery arizona vibes almost not robin's just like arizona like the state tell me why the lady at pop shop asked me and my sister if we like blue or green better and then she each gave us a mug based on our answer for free and she was just giving them out i really like this tiny vase i love the color scheme of it it's just very neutral and common look has the tan on the bottom and like the cream ceramic on the top and on the bottom it feels like sandy almost i don't know if it's gonna be able to pick up the texture on camera but i think it's so cute finally for fake plants we got this fake plant this fake plant was only 10 bucks did i tell you how much this was this was five dollars kind of big uh my torso is not that tall but with the plant sticking straight up but i will bend these down so y'all can get a better reference of what it's gonna look like i'm so satisfied right now like y'all you don't get it like you you really don't a little bit more knickknacks if you will my sister's actually the one who saw this have you ever seen those little chains that are really popular on tiktok right now that are like white gold stuff like that they're like 40 dollars any like 20 to 40 dollars depending on where you buy them this was five and it's a unique color not unique enough to the point where it can't match anything but unique enough to where you have to go to that store to get it and i think this really just sets a little like oomph to the idea of what the decor is as you can see we're going for like colorful pastel because the office furniture that i ended up getting which i'm gonna go pick up after this it's all white and i want to jazz it up in a way where there's just like colors and neutrals so but mainly colors because if it's too neutral i'm gonna get sleepy but if it's too colorful i'm gonna get distracted and i think i found a good balance with these pastel color things that i've been getting but I digress. On to the next thing. I found this little house. Five bucks. I just picked it up because it was five bucks. It's cute. There's this big vase the ceramic vase also very on trend but a very unique color just 12 bucks you can put flowers in here so nice i've been getting so many flowers since i graduated recently so 
this is very much needed. Just this cute little green little stair step type of structure. It's pretty heavy. This is a bookend, so it's gonna sit like this, and the books are gonna go right here. Five bucks. You can somebody with this thing. Y'all know those cute little candles that are in the shape of things that nobody really uses to burn them? Yeah, they're usually really expensive everywhere else. These were $3 each, and they're in the shape of little rainbow shapes. What is that called? I've been needing to get some pumps for the bathroom, so I'm gonna put this in the bathroom in here because there's gray mats in the white bathroom with the marble, you know, white and gray floors. I have rubbed slash brushed silver on all my faucets. I'm gonna trade the pumps out. Hopefully it can fit. That's why I bought this. And then I just picked up this Method antibacterial all-purpose cleaner because it was four bucks. Something quick down here for when I like eat lunch or like spill something just to keep in the office. You know the vibe. I got this cute little tray. It was three dollars. My sister thought it was a <laughs> tray it could double as one but i don't think that's what it's for and it's just a little decorative tray that you like put on like a coffee table or something with like the same color decor or just similar color decor on here and it's just really cute way to bring in more pink because i don't have a lot of pink i'm not the biggest pink gal but these shades of pink and coral together eat and i was like oh this would be fun to have in there so this is great and then the last two things i got were actually two toilet scrubbers because there's been one toilet scrubber in this house since i moved in here so we got one for down here and then got one for the guest bathroom. When I say down here, I mean over there because I'm sitting on my steps right now. <laughs> Obviously. I don't know about y'all, but I don't think anybody can get this amount of decor for that cheap if you ask me personally. But we can ponder on that later. Furniture's here, ready to go. It's about that painful time, y'all. About that painful time. I also have some stuff from Amazon, but I'll show you that a little bit later. Because it's kind of like furniture, but it's kind of like not. So I'll show you that after we build the stuff, but... We're gonna build, I'll show you what I got from Amazon, and then we're gonna set everything up. Is that cool with y'all? It took a whole day to get all this stuff together in about five men a little bit of brain power and a little bit of loss of brain cells but here we are all the furnitures together so i'm gonna give you an overview of the room it's a mess right now but hopefully since today we're actually putting the office together and setting up the organization and all that we should be good to go so let's start starting right over here to the left of the entryway we have the bookshelf now this bookshelf you're probably wondering leah what the hell happened yeah mm-hmm i tore the out of this when we we're putting it together but the bookshelf is nice and tall i decided to go for a four shelf unit if i ever need more i have the spare shelves in that closet speaking of the closet there's nothing in there that matters right now keeping it moving we have the chair i put the throw pillow in there just see how i liked it not sure how i like it but it's it's there right now then we have the entertainment center with the lovely playstation right here which is going to be moved in a little bit floating shelf right here and then the tv right there i'm not sure what i'm going to do for this cord management because She's a little funky, if you will. And of course, I just have the decorations all put out right here because I didn't know where else to put them. So right here, we have this little empty corner. I lied when I set all the furniture together when I just realized that. Sorry. As soon as you put together a bar cart and move the mini fridge that's over there to this corner. So ignore that this is empty and just has a bunch of books. Once we start putting stuff away, I'll be able to put that stuff there. So key key, right. So then we have our final piece of furniture that I built. This is just another storage thing. Very nice, like it's a very nice system. It's very small and it fits right up against this little wall nook that I was, you know, planning on because I just ate so bad. Behind me, above my desk, I have two floating shelves that are made for complete decoration. And then I have my desk, and then I have my file cabinet. Fun fact, Ikea actually gave me a free double-sided trash can. I don't know what that's about, but they sent this. My boyfriend and his friend Jesse went to go pick up the bookshelf. Don't know what that was about, but I am not mad about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this time to just go ahead and start putting stuff away. I think right now, the only thing I'm sure of is what's going on this bookshelf and what's going in here. So I think the best thing for me, this course of action, is going to be just tackling that first. Because a lot of books are going to go here with some decorations. But a lot of the stuff I actually use in regards to like work, photography, content decoration is going to go in here. So I think I might actually want to have a PR section because I never figured that out in the uh, floor plan. But I think that's going to be a closet type of thing. But then again, there's really nothing in the closet. So I have to figure out how I'm going to do that little PR section. Uh, we'll see how I end up doing it in this video. If I do 
decide to do it. I hope I get to so you guys can see it in real time what it's like to figure this out. But finally in the home stretch, we're finally about to start doing the decorating and organize, which is probably what you're here for. But I still have to give you an Amazon haul of everything that occurred and everything that I bought. So I'm gonna do that after I set up some of the bookshelf and then some of my equipment in there. I'm gonna keep watching my show. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. I appreciate you so much. I wanna say hello, it's a new day. We've been doing this for three, four days now. Count how many outfits I have in this video. I have my Skims outfit on right now. And my slang, decorated organizing in my skins, living my luxury lifestyle. Amazon, the first of many little decor items. I think this is my um, desk like mat. It's basically a mat that you just put on your desk so everything kind of sit nicely on it. And I got it in the color gray just because everything on my desk is black space gray or white. So I was like, let me just get some gray to make it a little matchy matchy. I got a few little accessories from Amazon. The Govi table lamp. This is not double as a speaker or anything. It's really just mood lighting. You control it from your phone and it syncs with music and everything like that. So mood lighting for the office because I was not able to find a floor lamp for this office for some reason. I got this little set right here. This is the Logitech Studio Series. This is the Pop Keys wireless keyboard I got the pop mouse to go with it I also decided to get some uh, cable organizers because there's just a lot of cables that are gonna be going on over in the desk area and it would be best and well desired if I could just have them really just like at hand on the desk ready to go instead of me trying to fish and find everything these aren't from Amazon but if you watch one of my more recent vlogs I went to home goods with my Hello. I went to Home Goods with my mutuals, Nikoi, and we picked up three candles. I have the teak wood mahogany one up there, but this is also an amber and bergamot one and a stress relief candle. These will be put all over the office as well. Not going to be lit all at once, but will be used as decor. I also picked up, this is a three-tier cart because like I said, I wanted a snack and kind of like drink area in here, in here. but I got a three-tier black bar cart. It's not bar cart, metal cart. It's not a bar cart, I promise, to put in here for like my snack cart area because I have a mini fridge and I want to have some snacks in here as well you're probably thinking Aaliyah why do you need a snack cart if you can literally just walk up a flight of stairs and go to your kitchen okay so I'm a snacky girl I love snacks not meals upstairs is for the meals down here it's gonna be for the snacks this is a monitor stand it's also white it picks my TR 4720 mirror not mirror what is this printer and it comes in black I needed a new printer because I want to learn new editing styles and my printer gave out on me that's my little Amazon haul there's not really much put into play here like this is just mainly for like my desk area and just like finishing touches so start off this little area of the video i'm gonna go ahead and start putting together my monitor stand so i'm gonna set that up and then we're gonna set my desk up i'm gonna go ahead and clean it and everything and then we're gonna start putting stuff on there making it da -da -da -da. i also placed another order for ikea because i decided i need more containers because i don't know why i thought four containers was gonna be enough for the stuff that i had yeah a lot of decorations are up but there's also still a lot of stuff still everywhere because of boxes and still trying to figure out where stuff goes so i feel like we're about 50 percent of the way there confidently say that do i sound confident probably not 